Hello everyone, uh, I just wanted to post a, another blog on the latest changes and uh, hackments I've been making to MuseScore here. Uh, we're going to go back into the piano editor and first of all let's uh, take a look at the drum set here. Uh, you can see that I've made the notes a little bit longer on the left so it's now easier to see the names of the drums on the side. Scroll up there and so yep. Yeah. And you can now see the uh, there's an open high conga and cowbell and tambourine so that should be a lot easier to see. You might also see a um, something down here. Uh, this is a the new levels window that I've uh, put in. This is for um, just an easier way to t see at a glance uh, the length, the on time, and the uh, velocity offset for these notes here. So uh, if you, uh, let's see, for drums I think velocity is going to be a little bit more useful. Let's go down to velocity absolute. So uh, this is just showing you, this is the uh, actual MIDI volume uh, that is going to be played when you uh, play these notes. So let's take a look at these uh, closed hi-hats here. Uh, you can see the velocity is right now set to offset. If we switch that over to user, that will tell you the actual MIDI value that's going to be played at. The MIDI value the MIDI volume can be anywhere from 0 to 127, uh, but uh, you can also express that as a percentage. If you express it as a percentage, that represents the dynamics. Right now there's none here, but uh, sort of uh, mezzo forte is presumed if you don't actually specify it. In any case, um, what, we, what you can do is if you have note selected, you can then click down there, and now we are going to play that 45% louder than uh, you would get with mezzo forte. Or if you click down here, now it's going to be 31% quieter. So this is just a uh, much easier way to adjust the uh, levels volume. And you can even do that with a group of notes. So if you want to change all of these, if you want to make them all a little bit quieter. Uh, and uh, let's see, uh, we only moved the ones that were selected. You see how we have these little green things sticking up here? Well, the acoustic snare uh, and the uh, bass drum were not selected, so that's why we didn't move these when we uh, clicked and dragged down here. Now, if we play that back, you can actually hear those uh, notes, are the, uh, the hi-hats, a little bit softer there. Maybe that's not quite so noticeable. Let's make that even more dramatic and play it back. Yep, and then if you want to make those extra loud, you can uh, just drag up here. Okay, now that's absolute value, and when you have it in this mode, that sort of tells you what it's going to be relative to what your MIDI is. But you can also go to offset. This will tell you what it would be relative to uh, the uh, thing they have, the, your dynamics in the score. In fact, we could even put in some dynamics there. Where's the dynamics? Down here. So if we want to play that piano, then this whole section is going to be quieter, but um, you'll still get uh, that kick up when you get to the uh, offset here. And uh, let's see, you can click back on there and go to absolute. And you see that the values as a whole, when you look at them in the uh, MIDI output volume, uh, are they're quieter than they were before, but you can see that these uh, relative ones are still louder than the ones around them. So uh, that can be a little bit confusing, but being able to set things in absolute value but have it remembered as an offset can be useful. It makes it easier to uh, play around with the dynamics later. Uh, let's see, another thing we can do is let's go over to the uh, piano view here, uh, or let's take a look at our piano. Now I've uh, made a couple, one more uh, change to the um, uh, adding things. So if you, I showed you this in the previous video, but if you click, if you hold the control uh, button and you uh, click control, you can uh, add in uh, more notes. So uh, that's just a quick way to fill in a uh, C chord there. And all that did was take a look at which chord you were currently in and add another note on top of the chord there. But uh, what happens if you would you know, like this to be split into pieces? Well, we, I added this sub beats thing here that will 
allow you to uh, break your um, beat into even smaller beats. So right now uh, we're breaking these into two subbeats, and this little dotted line shows you the subbeat here. Um, you didn't see that next one that got added, but if you hold down Control and you use the mouse wheel to uh, scale these out, okay, now and then you saw that second one come in, and let's scroll that out a really far. So if we uh, go up to three, you can now see that's uh, being subdivided three times over, so that beat is divided into eight pieces. And if you go back to one, now it's only being divided into two. So uh, what's this useful for? Well, if you want to write a syncopated rhythm, uh, a quick way to do that might be to hold Control shift and then what we're going to do is click in um, the third beat section here, and this is going to cut the note right there. And if you look in the score here, you see uh, we have a one and a half beat length note, and uh, we have a, an eighth and the um, half over there. Uh, this is just sort of how music score cuts things, but let's add another cut. Let's uh, put the uh, let's have the last beat all by itself. We're going to control click in this section. Then what we're going to do over here is we're going to select the G and press the plus sign to tie that to the next note. And there we have a very basic syncopated rhythm. And if you play it, come over here and I just press the space bar to play. So that's just an easy way to uh, uh, change to uh, just uh, put in a few cuts just to make things a little bit easier. You could easily do it in the score over here, but this uh, takes advantage of the grid to do something you might not have been able to do otherwise. So I just moved the locator by clicking up there, and uh, you can also press the space bar and have the playback happen over here. Okay, um, so I was showing you the. Um, velocity when we're working with the drums. You can also change the note uh, length and the note on time. So let's come over here and do this whole note. So now we're over here. So we can uh, switch back to length. And if you want to change this length, you can just click here. And this will just, this doesn't change the actual length because you can see it stays a whole note in the bar. But this is a way to uh, maybe add a little bit of a pause. And uh, you can, if you want that note to be held extra long, you can just click up here and it will go extra long. Or if you want it to be a little bit more staccato, you can just bring this down. And this is a great way to nudge the values into what you want them to be. And if you look up here, you can see that the actual len value is being displayed in that uh, bar there. So if you want to change that up there, you can also manually input it there if you want. And if you have a bunch of these you want to change at once, you can just select there and click and drag down here to uh, get those length changes all in uh, one go. Uh, one more thing you can do is the on time. This is a little bit trickier because it's actually going to change where these notes are when you set it. But um, just for completeness, if you click there, you can see the uh, the note is moving a little bit forward. And uh, let's bring that back down to zero. So you probably, this is the one you're probably least gonna want to change, but you can do it. And uh, actually let's click on A. So if we click up here, we can see the on time is slowly going forward and uh, can, uh, this would be good if you want to have something come extra early or extra late, but you could, uh, most of the time you just want to leave that at zero. So I believe that is everything. Oh yeah, we can also drag this up and down. So if we go back to the uh, velocity, so if you want to really get um, a lot of space here to move your elbows around with, you can do that. Or you can shrink it down so that you can uh, focus on the, uh, the note editor up here. So uh, that's it for this update. Uh, I think that is pretty much most of what I wanted to do. Uh, there's probably still some room for bug fixes and maybe some optimizations, but uh, I hope you like this. If uh, I'm hoping this will be included in the 3.0 uh, release. I still haven't heard back a lot from them, but uh, 
in any case uh, if you use MuseScore and you think this would be a uh, useful addition uh, post in the comments below and uh, thanks for watching